Are you ready for your next assignment? Ask, and it shall be done. Our victory is imminent, Courier. We have weakened NCR control, consolidated our power throughout the frontier, and now the Enclave is no more. As Dolus tells me, NCR morale is worse than it has ever been. <laughs> it's pretty low. They're starving. Alone. Weak. Ugly. We have bent them as far as we can. Now we must break them. Oh, yeah. The NCR have a certain unit they hold in high regard. You could see them as the NCR's Praetorians, if you wish. Yeah, the Rangers. They are known as the Wolf Pack. Oh. I believe you've already met them. Yes. You must kill the Wolf Pack. Eliminate them one by one. With them gone, the NCR will be ripe for the taking. <laughs> Speak to Calidus for details. Be warned, Courier. This mission will not be easy. All who have gone against the Wolf Pack have perished. But if, when, you kill the Wolf Pack, victory will be in our hands. Ave, Courier. All right, you heard him, nerds. Move out. Uh, who parked their fire truck in front of Calidus? Calidus! I am at your service. It's time for us to deal with the Wolf Pack. Ah, how I've waited for this day. The Wolf Pack has spent their short time together, hunting the strongest among us. Now it's our turn. The original plan was to separate them, eliminating each member one by one. It's a good plan. However, recent events have made this impossible. While you were trapped within the bowels of Prodigal Station, the Wolf Pack launched a surprise attack on the Lloyd Center. In the process, they captured the Lloyd Center's commander, oh no? Nigel Sue. If the Wolf Pack gains access to the Metro system under the Mull, worse, if Nigel Sue tells them what he knows, even after everything you've done, the war will be lost. Oh, wow. You must kill Hotshot, AJ, and Mouse. Preferably in embarrassing ways, so as to further damage NCR morale. What about hard case? In addition, Nigel Sue must pay for this failure with his life. When you are finished, return to Ostia, and we will discuss hard case's execution. I've never even heard of the Lloyd Center. Before the war, it was a shopping mall, a place where people would gather to trade in useless baubles. Our scouts discovered it shortly after the fall of Outpost Gresham. Valerius briefly considered making it our main base before we found Ostia. Ooh. What makes the Lloyd Center so enticing? Being located in the heart of the city, the Lloyd Center is rich in tactical value. Mm. More importantly, the mall holds access to the pre-war metro system. A system that stretches across the entire frontier from New Phoenix to Ostia. Using these tunnels, we've been able to covertly cross large distances away from the gaze of the NCR's vertebrate patrols. Oh. They also allow us to set up ambushes that no scout or vertebrate could ever predict. If we lose this advantage, all is lost. Can I use the metro system to get to the Lloyd Center? That is no longer possible. We closed off Ostia's entrance to the system some years ago. Eh. That way, none of the NCR scouts watching the camp would know of the system's existence. This, however, doesn't mean NCR can't access Ostia from the tunnels themselves. And therein lies the issue. I get it. Losing control of the tunnels is a big deal. And you wanted to prevent that by putting Nigel in charge... Sounds like he didn't do a very good job. He doesn't make any attempt to hide his contempt for me. This contempt would have cost him his life if not for his considerable talent. He will no doubt attempt to bargain for his life. But his failure cannot be forgiven. He must die. Is Nigel a frumentari, like me? Frumentari, scribe, scientist. He's all these things and more. If you believe his boasts. Hmm. He was using his talents to develop a bioweapon that we could use against the NCR. <laughs> the secrets of this weapon will die with him. 
sounds like he's got some redeeming qualities. Might not want to throw him away so quickly. We've all had a little failure here and there, right? If he were to escape and return to Ostia, then, in light of his contributions, Valerius would likely pardon him. I understand why you might stay your hand. He is a great asset for the Legion. Yeah. But there is a reason Valerius placed him far away from Ostia. If he was ever given actual power, he would fall to pieces, and the Legion would fall with him. Yes, Valerius must not think very highly of Nigel if he put him in charge of a very important area that, were we to lose, would cost us the war. I don't agree with you preemptively usurping Valerius's authority here. As for the other three targets, what do you know about Hotshot? A joker and a fool. He only joined the wolf pack thanks to a twist of fate. He doesn't belong there. Something he's all too aware of. And what about Mouse? A veteran of the Brotherhood War. According to Dolus, he still has nightmares of it. He would have made a fine legionnaire, but that time is past. Why would a soldier having nightmares be a good... Eh. My Furmentari tell me that he is the one interrogating Nigel Sue. You will need to go through Mouse to eliminate Nigel. Two for one sale! And finally, AJ. Yes, her. I would like to tell you a story. There was once a boy and a girl, brother and sister. The brother promised the sister he would do anything to protect her. He would do this even if she hated him. Uh huh. As time moved onward, the siblings grew apart. The brother saw the world as it was and followed his hero, while the sister stayed behind and followed the path opposed to her brother. But the brother still loves her. He will never stop loving her, never stop protecting her. Why are you telling me this irrelevant story? I'm the brother. Oh. Ophelia, the one called AJ, is my sister. Hmm. That must make for awkward family reunions. The last she saw of me was when I left New Canaan. For all she knows, I'm dead. I would have preferred to keep it that way. Yeah, because the Legate ordered me to kill her. I care for her more than anything else, even the Legion. But I also understand that no member of the Wolf Pack can be allowed to walk free. Mm -hmm. That's why I want you to use this. It's a slave collar. I had Servitus modify it. As soon as you put it on her neck, it will deliver a non-lethal electric shock and emit a signal only I can track. Oh. Once that's done, I'll bring her here. Then she'll always be in my sight. And she will be safe. Forever. Ah, I've had a bad track record of enslaving strong-willed women. It hasn't worked out for me in the past. Wait, won't the other legionaries know you brought a member of the wolf pack? Not when I'm done. I'll shave her hair, scar her face, <laughs> maybe cut out her tongue. I dread having to see her in such pain, but it's the only way to keep her safe. Don't think AJ would appreciate you mutilating her face. It's not about what she wants, it's about what will keep her safe. Only Kaiser can do that. Yeah, she'll definitely be safe. Does anybody else know about AJ? Only the Legate knows. And he doesn't know the lengths I will go to save her. Honestly, it sounds like she's better off dead. How could you say that? I'm her brother, her protector. I would never hurt her. You simply don't understand. <laughs> you would never hurt her? Other than the heavily maiming, right? I noticed that Hard Case wasn't on your list of targets. He's a member of the Wolf Pack too, you know. He was present for the initial assault, but Blackthorn called him back to New Phoenix to protect him from us. From you. What? He's right to be worried. Not that it will stop us. Killing the others should draw Hardcase out of hiding, no matter what Blackthorn does. Why does Hardcase need extra protection? Is he the least competent member of Wolfpack? I was led to believe the opposite, but Blackthorn's actions tell a different story! Regardless, 
I am ready. Then the hunt begins. Before you confront the wolf pack, you'll need a disguise. There's a man named John outside the Lloyd Center. Deal with him as you wish and take his clothes. Believe me, you won't have any trouble with him. Good hunting, courier. Okay, I'm off to infiltrate the NCR. As a frumentari, it would not be my first time. The Lloyd Center. Seen better days. Hello, hello, hello. Oh, hello, citizen. How are you doing? Good, I hope. I'm splendid. Yeah, this area sure is safe now that the legion's gone. Definitely. Uh, sorry. It's just, you look a lot like the courier, but that's stupid. Because you're dead. I mean, they're dead. They're dead. Private John, I assume? Corporal John, actually. I got promoted after Parks died. So, I guess at least one good thing came out of that. Uh, I don't think I've met this Parks. Officer Parks? He led his unit up to Spay... Place I can't talk about. <laughs> they didn't come back. Hmm. And they needed somebody as equally incompetent to take his place. I'm sure you'll fill those shoes nicely. Wait, is that a spoon I see in your pistol holster? Uh, no. It's a spade. You know, one of those trench shovels? It's just they made this one too small. <laughs> <laughs> no, that's, that's a wooden spoon. I know the difference. What are you doing out here, Corporal John? This is now an interrogation. Oh, I'm definitely not practicing what I'm going to say to the wolf pack when I ask for their autographs. I also haven't been standing out here for two days because I'm too scared to ask them. That's what I haven't been doing. Why would you want to get the wolf pack's autograph? Is it because you know they're going to die soon, so it's going to be valuable? I just told you, I wasn't doing that. If I was, well, things haven't been going well for us lately. We lost Outpost Henderson. Again. Junkfully abandoned us, and one of our top units just died. Oh, no. At this rate, I might not get another chance at an autograph. If I wanted one, that is. You must think highly of the Wolf Pack. The Wolf Pack are the most badass, lethal, and badass unit in Blackthorn's army. You said badass twice. I did? Yeah, I did. Because the Wolf Pack is just that good. They don't settle for mono ass. They always go for double ass. <laughs> um, yes. Men of culture go for double ass. There are four members. Hardcase, AJ, Hotshot, and Mouse. All of them are great soldiers on their own. But together, no one can stop them. No matter what, we know we can always count on the Wolf Pack to get the job done. Wow, you really like the Wolf Pack. I bet if they had a commemorative lunchbox, you'd have to get one. Of course not. I'd get five. Gotta support the troops, right? Of course! Yes. Can you tell me about the individual members? What their strengths and weaknesses might be? Sure. Which one? Let's start with Hardcase. He's the best soldier on the team. And that's really saying something. He's a born leader. A few people have even talked about replacing Blackthorn. He has my vote. Too bad we're not living in a democracy. Kind of ironic if you think about it. <laughs> yes, a born leader that was called back to camp and can no longer lead his troops. And Mouse? He's the quiet one. You never know what he's thinking until it's too late. I heard he had a really rough time during the Brotherhood War, but he must have gotten over it if he's a member of the Wolf Pack. Or maybe he's got some bottled up PTSD. <laughs> what about Hotshot? He's, uh, there. He doesn't do as much as the other members. And he's kind of a jerk, especially to me. But unlike the other members, he actually hangs out with us grunts. So I guess it kind of balances out? I don't feel like that information can help me out at all. What about AJ? <sighs> She's the woman of my dreams. You know, in a completely platonic, non-creepy way. I feel like I'm gathering so little information from you. By the way, you mentioned that I resembled the courier... That's because I am that courier. Pfft, really? That's... Amazing! You've been alive this whole time? Yes. Helping us from the shadows? Mm hmm It didn't really work, and most of my friends are dead. But hey, you tried! <laughs> but wait, why come back now? 
Why did you tell me, of all people, that you were alive? Because I'm going undercover, John. I need to blend in with the rest of the troops. Speaking of which, I need your uniform. Sure thing. <laughs> what, what? That was easy. Uh, I'll also need your equipment, just in case. I don't have much, but here. I could also use some blood. Sorry, but I need that. <laughs> that was worth a shot. Now, go back to New Phoenix, but don't tell anybody you saw me. Yes, sir. The Courier and the Wolfpack working together. I can't wait to see what you do. Just, just don't say anything about me, all right? Not at all bothered by the cold, huh? All right, all right. Man, Corporal John is even dumber than I am. And that's saying something, because I'm pretty stupid. Oh, what's with the self-depreciation? I did spend about six months sitting on top of a landmine because I, would, I couldn't figure out how to get someone to come defuse it. That's what carbon-based you did. You're a ghost now. You've outgrown your stupid body and stupid brain. Yeah, but I still do dumb stuff. The other day, I got my hand caught in a ghost can opener. Why a can opener? Well, the ghost can opener was broken. So I had to use the ghost screwdriver to open the back of the ghost can opener. Oh. When I opened the back of the ghost can opener, my ghost hand got stuck inside the mechanism of the ghost can opener. How did you resolve that? Uh, I just phased through it. So it didn't get stuck! Well, it got stuck for a minute until I remembered that I can phase through things. Anyway! Now that I think about it, I probably could have just phased through the ghost can to get the ghost beans. Why didn't I just do that? What do we even need ghost can openers for? I don't understand your ghost logic! You know, I'm beginning to think that ghost can openers are just a, a scheme by the ghost military, ghost industrial complex. Are you padding my videos? <laughs> <laughs> That's good. That's just complete fourth wall break. <laughs> uh, this is the Lloyd Center, huh? Looks a little bit like an airport terminal, but whatever. Ah. Hard case, I need to talk to you. It's, I'm the new guy. Oh, hey, you must be the new guy. That's me. You know, when Command said they were sending someone over, they made it sound like you were a wash. Don't know what they were high on. You look about ready to kill someone. Not that I'm complaining. Ah. Uh, I've got things covered up here, so you don't have to do much. Just sit back, relax, and keep an eye out for the Legion. Just in case. You got it. No Legion's gonna get past me. Well, you seem pretty laid back. And to think, Private John called you a jerk. John, John. He's the guy with the pet Brahmin, right? I, I don't know. He means well, but I just can't stop laughing at the guy. Did you know he nearly burned down the rec hall by putting milk in the toaster? What? Apparently he was trying to make toasted milk? <laughs> then there was that time he nearly decapitated Hardcase with a bike. Jeez. I know it's mean. But the guy's life is comedy gold. I wish I had as many stories as him. Sounds like he might do more damage than I will. Who are you? I'm the new guy, so I don't know. I'm Hotshot. Part of the wolf pack? I'm basically a goddamn superhero. How did you join the wolf pack? You seem unprofessional. I proved myself in training like the others. Not much else to say. He said, like a liar. I'm not lying. You seem a little strung out, Hotshot. <coughs> what are you talking about? I'm fine. Never been better. Uh, your face is looking pretty beat up. Yeah, because I just got out of a firefight. You should see the rest of my body. Are you coming on to me? Sorry, I don't swing that way. But maybe AJ does? What do you know about her? She's the best. Even after everything that's happened to us, She's still cracking jokes with the best of them. Sure, Hardcase may be in charge, and I do a lot too. But we wouldn't be what we are without her. She's our secret ingredient. The glue that holds this fire team together, hmm? Speaking of Hardcase... He's the best CO I've ever had. He's tough on us, but he's fair. Only gives you grief if you screw up. He's also impossible to play matchmaker with. He's bailed on every date I've set up for him. And let me tell you, those women weren't happy. <laughs> Maybe he's asexual, ever ask him? What's your opinion on Mouse? He's an old grouch who wouldn't know fun if it punched him in the face. 
If he's not scowling at me, he's chewing me out for trying to lighten the mood. We used to fight all the time, but now we just avoid each other. Definitely a lot of cohesion in this unit. So, what are you doing in here? Officially, I'm cataloging all the chemicals we recovered from the lab. Though, there isn't much left to do other than put the right labels on the right barrels. For the most part, I've just been hanging out. Where did all this stuff come from? We brought it up here from Nigel's lab. The barrels are filled with sodium theo what's it and other chemicals I can't pronounce. Be careful. This stuff is pretty volatile. One spark and the whole room could go up in flames. One spark, you say? Hmm. What do you know of this Nigel? He was the guy in charge of this place. Real crazy. Even for Legion standards. <clears throat> Mouse is working him over downstairs. But all he has to do is sit and listen. So Nigel is revealing all the Legion's secrets? And then some. We filled up 12 hollow tapes with intel within the first hour. He's the one who told us where to find all this chemical junk. I always heard the Legion was loyal to the end. Guess that's not the case. Hmm. Yes, it would seem that is the case. Do you know anything else about this place? It was some kind of market before the war, but it's hard to see why anyone would buy this crap. The Legion controlled this place, until we stepped in, of course. Now we're going to use it to end the war once and for all. How exactly will this place end the war? You should have been briefed on this back at base. The mall itself isn't going to help us, but the metro tunnels underneath are. Oh, you know of them. The Legion's been using them ever since the war started. And now, we control them. Hmm. AJ's working on something downstairs to take out Ostia. Can't wait to see when it's finished. Well, sounds like I'd better get to work. Later. Just, uh, yeah, just... See right there. I wasn't doing anything. Nice jukebox. Maybe you should play something for me. Select a song. Any song. I'll be out here, waiting to hear it. And... <clears throat> oh no! What happened? Alright. Surprisingly, the jukebox is intact. Basement level 5... Yo. I heard intern John got yelled at again. Wonder what he did this time. He's a corporal now. Unless you're talking about a different John. Which would be normal. John's a common name. Oh, gee, what the hell? Spear, go! Ahem. Hello? Echo! 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 <laughs> yeah. Uh Oh, uh, <clears throat> hi. <laughs> Didn't see you there. I'm AJ, but you probably already knew that. How's it going? Going, going. Very professional. You don't seem like the other soldiers here. I'm part of the Wolf Pack, the best unit in the NCR, at least according to the posters Hotshot makes. We keep people safe and look good while doing it. Speaking of, what's your opinion on Hotshot? He's funny. Not as funny as me, but he tries. He doesn't think very highly of himself, but he's the best shot out of all of us. He saved my life more times than I can count. He's cute too, and that's always a plus. Yeah, you should spend more time with him, brighten his spirits. What about the other members of Wolfpack? Like, hard case. Well, he's my boss. And he runs a damn fine unit. We'd never last a day if Hardcase didn't keep the peace. I wish he was here, but I understand why Blackthorn called him back. If we lose him, we're done for. Unlike the rest of you expendable chumps, like your comrade Mouse. He's a great listener, and he keeps Hotshot in line. I wish he'd talk to a therapist about his nightmares, but that's his business. Let's talk about something else. How's the war going? Overall, not great. But now that we control the Lloyd Center, 
things should turn around. Don't you think you're a bit too cheery, all things considered? Everyone copes differently. Maybe you should think about that before you make assumptions, hmm? Fair enough, fair enough. What are you doing here? I'm preparing a little gift for the Legion. You know that train car you passed on the way in? Yes. I've loaded it with ten tons of explosives. Oh my. And a few mini nukes for good measure. Yikes. Once Blackthorn gives the order, I'll send the car barreling to Ostia and blow it off the map. Valerius may be smart, but there's no way he could prepare himself for train-based warfare. <laughs> <laughs> I can't believe I just said that. Train, yes. The important part is that you have that monorail guarded and nobody could walk up and sabotage it while you weren't paying attention. Yes, a very well thought out plan. So, wanna play frisbee with this live hand grenade? Sure, let me just put my suicide cap on. That means no. Uh, I have a personal matter to discuss with you. It's about your brother. Robert, he's dead. I have important information to tell you in private. All right, where are we going? Away from the prying eyes of your fellow soldiers. Uh, follow me to the bathrooms. Works for me. Is there any better place for a confidential reveal than the bathrooms? Uh, weird bathrooms. Ah, this is the ladies' bathrooms, and these are the gentlemen's bathrooms. You said you wanted to talk about Robert. What do you know? Your brother is secretly alive and a member of the Legion. He goes by the name Calidus. Calidus? I've heard of him. Uh, he was in charge of Bright Town when... God, Robert, what have you done? Why are you here? To enslave you? Here, have the slave collar. Hey! Alright, that is two members of the wolf pack dealt with. Now to find Mouse and Nigel. Hello. What do you want? I'm busy. I hear you're a man of few words. Yes. Okay, that just stare at me. That's from... What is this place? Lloyd Center. Used to be a Legion outpost. So we killed them all. Now it's ours. Obviously. Nigel, I presume? So, you're Valoris's pet courier. When I first saw you, I knew you would accomplish great things. I just didn't think you would be the one to kill me. I don't believe we've met. I was there, on the bridge. In fact, I believe I shot you. Or was it one of your comrades? Now, was that you? It hardly matters now. Well, thank you for not making it a fatal blow. How are you alive? Simple. I did the one thing the men under my command could not. Betray the Legion. Surrender. As the exiles are bound to the illusionary rules of war, they were unable to kill me. Since then, I have been dutifully answering their questions, providing them the intelligence they so desperately desire. Yup, the NCR exiles would never execute somebody who has willingly surrendered. That's true. But you turned traitor, so... Hardly. I've given them information, yes, but none of it's been of any importance. Or even accurate. Oh. By following my advice, they've wasted their time opening unimportant doors and searching for hidden pathways that don't exist. Oh. My deception is the sole reason why the Exiles have not yet overrun Ostia. Oh. You seem different from the other Legionaries. More British. I believe the word you're looking for is educated. No, British. My mother was a doctor. My father a biologist. The accent. They taught me everything they knew before they died. But intellectuals are not allowed in Kaisar's Legion! And that is where Legate Valaris differs from Kaisar. 
The Legate is aware that sheer strength alone cannot win this war. Victory requires cunning and intelligence. I provide both in droves. What's your opinion on Calidus? He didn't seem to have a high opinion of you. Ah yes, my immediate superior. Don't be mistaken, he is a fine frumentari. But too often he lets his emotions impair his judgment. Unlike you, who's stone-faced? I didn't say anything of the sort. Not that I disagree. So what was your role here, Nigel? Prior to the wolf pack's arrival, my main responsibility was to manage day-to-day -day operations of the mall. Otherwise, I was working on Vault 9. Vault 9, you say? vault used Vault 9 to test the effectiveness of several hallucinogenic compounds. As with most vaults, this experiment killed its inhabitants. Oh. I began studying these compounds as soon as I arrived here. What was your goal? At first, I thought I could use them to create a kind of bioweapon. Yes. On further rumination, I realized they could achieve something much greater. The Legion's greatest weakness is that not everyone is willing to accept us. There will always be those who resist, and they will often be the best of a generation. If I could find a way to control these individuals, alter their beliefs, this weakness would disappear. I don't want to kill you. Good. That saves me the trouble of pleading my case. How would you escape after I cut your bonds? See that vent over there? It leads to a vast maze of steel pathways that are quite easy to get lost in. I know the one and only path that leads to the outside. Once there, I will make my way to Ostia. In Siar, none the wiser. How do you know the pathing of the vents? Were you crawling around in them for fun earlier? Well, you seem to be bound with simple handcuffs. I can probably pick them. Ah, thank goodness. I was starting to lose circulation. Oh, uh, uh. And away he goes. Uh, you saw that, yep. All right, Nigel, tell me where that information is. Shit! Yo. What do you want? I'm busy. It looks like your prisoner ran off. What? Impossible. There's no way he could have gotten out. You were the last person to see him. Where is he? I think he crawled into the vents. Yeah, right. Come with me. Uh-oh. This ain't good. Oh. I'm assuming I'm supposed to be locked up. Here, let me fix that for you. <clears throat> hey, let me out. You need something? Who are you? Officer Pride, at your service. What's your story? Oh, you know, the usual. Born on a farm, joined the army, got screwed over, and followed Blackthorn. Talk to any NCR soldier in the frontier, and you'll find that their stories almost always follow the same pattern. Oh, so you're the girl that Mouse has been talking about. He's been talking about me? Does that mean he... I, I've got to go. Don't do anything while I'm gone. She's going to leave me in here to rot, isn't she? Nobody knows the trouble I've seen. Nobody knows but Jesus. Why are, there, why are there dead NCR soldiers in here anyway? You need something? Yeah, slam your head against the bars. <coughs> Conk! <laughs> Alright, Mouse, real funny. No, seriously, he escaped through a vent. Go check it out. There's probably evidence of his escape. You should definitely inspect his chair very thoroughly. Look at look at where he was sitting a little harder. Using the system will result in the deaths of everyone inside the vault. Ah, well, we'll just kill him. Oh, good. You are dead. Excellent. Well, this is great. 
everything seems to have gone smoothly and swimmingly. Wouldn't you agree? For the NCR. Oh shit. I can't take this anymore. Get back here, I didn't I'm not finished. Holy crap, you had a lot of health. Boobity bobbity boo. Where'd this fucking bear come from? Okay. I can't figure out how to open the doors. It's <laughs> just, just a random bearer inside the building. Hey, Calidus. I am at your service. The targets have been dealt with. I heard. The profligates were executed like the animals they are. Well done. All except for one, of course. Mm hmm. I wanted to thank you again for helping me. Ophelia will be safe here. In the Legion's embrace. Like it, Valerius doesn't know what I did, right? All he knows is that I brought a new personal slave into the camp. That's all he needs to know. Okay, okay good, good, good. All that remains now is cutting off the head of the wolf. Hard case. My frumentari have been unable to find him. But the legate just received a message from Dolus, likely revealing Hard case's location. Oh? Thus, he has asked to speak with you. Any suggestions for dealing with Hard Case? Bring him in alive if possible. His death will mean more if it is slow and public. Okay, I'm off to kill Hard Case once Valerius tells me where he is. We will be waiting for you, Courier. We won't go quietly. Blackthorn can count on that. Uh huh. Uh, hey. Valerius, did you booby trap your door and not tell me? Because I think I got caught in the explosion. Uh oh. No, I'm a prisoner. Hmm. This can't be good. So, it really was you. Hey. I should have known. After all, only the courier of the Mojave could have accomplished all this. Hard case. Fancy meeting you here. Though seriously, how the hell? You know, when we first met, there was a voice in the back of my head telling me, what if the legend isn't real? What if it's just more Legion lies? Yes. I ignored that voice. And because I did, the frontiers turned against us. And your friends are dead. And my friends... Are dead. Yes, they are. There's no way we can win now. You've made sure of that. Mm -hmm. But if I can at least kill you, then maybe their deaths will have meant something. How did you even get here without being shot by our lookouts? There's a cave on the side of the mountain that leads right into the dungeon. It's supposed to be impossible to climb, but the wolf pack made their name on doing the impossible. Did Blackthorn send you here? Blackthorn. No. He'd want me to hide away in a bunker. And that wasn't going to happen. There was a time when I looked up to him. Thought he was a great man. But he's not. He's not even a good one. Did you kill Valerius? Is he, is he dead already? Not yet. I'm not here for him. I'm here for you. Oh. And as much as I wanted to put a bullet in his head, I needed him alive to get you here. Don't worry. He's next. You realize that you're trapped, right? There's no way out of here except in a coffin. I know. But there isn't much left to go back to, anyway. Ah, ouch. Do you feel it? That pain? The fear building up inside? That's what my friends felt when you killed them. And we're only just getting started. Please stop shooting me. Maybe if you had actually been there, we wouldn't be having this conversation. You just don't know when to shut up, do you? Ow, stop shooting me! Was it really worth it? All the suffering, the deaths. Do you actually believe in the Legion? Or is it just an excuse for you to kill people? Eh, a little column A, a little column B. Stop doing that! All right, I'm done playing. It's time to end this. This is for my friends, for the scavs, for everyone you've hurt. Join the Legion, please? Are you serious? 
<laughs> Are you actually serious? I don't know. <laughs> yeah, is that a no? Is that a no? Oh, are you still alive? The last shot should have killed you. Why don't you just die? <laughs> I took a bullet to the head. You think ten more are gonna stop me? Everyone has a limit. Even you. Ouch, right into my bullet wound. I don't get it. So many good people are dead. Parks. Mouse. AJ. Hotshot. Hell, even Henderson. They're all gone, but you're still here. You, out of all people. A traitor, a liar, a murderer, <coughs> a package courier. That's me. What makes you so special? Plot armor. Huh? What makes you so fucking important? What? You want my life story? Well, it all started when I was born. It was a small farm on the outskirts of the vault. Uh, yeah, ouch. <laughs> <laughs> you suck. Stop laughing. Stop shooting. <sighs> you are one resilient son of a bitch. You know that. <laughs> Why are you so winded? I can't believe this. I actually ran out of bullets. Ah. <laughs> <laughs> Was this part of your plan? <laughs> or is this just dumb luck? Guess we're going to have to finish this the old-fashioned way. I probably should have mentioned this earlier, but AJ is still alive. They never did find the body, but why would you... Fine. But if I find out you've hurt her, I'll break out and kill you myself. Retribution! Uh-oh. Oh, oh no! <laughs> oh. Remember, we're taking him alive. Only knock him unconscious a little bit. I'm, I'm assuming you're knocking him out and not actually killing him. He's in for quite the shock when he wakes up. What little loyalty Blackthorn's troops still possess is likely to evaporate after our demonstration. Oh, yeah? You saved my life this day, Courier. And nearly died in the process. Thank you. Valerius, baby, how did Hardcase capture you, the Legate? It was my own fault. I had grown complacent. I no longer believed the NCR could reach me here. Clearly, I was wrong. And Hardcase used my error to lure you into his trap. For this, I apologize. Well, I am bleeding out, and you're a doctor, so... Don't worry. It will be simple for me to heal your wounds. <laughs> yeah, these wounds are nothing compared to the ones you inflicted on me, right? Eh? It was an honor to donate some blood in the service of the Legion. I think I see now why Kaiser holds you in such high regard. So, what happens now? We crucify Hardcase. Put his body on display for all to see. Once we do this, there will be no going back. Blackthorn and his men will be wiped from the face of the frontier. And we will assume full control of the region. If you have anything that needs to be done before the end comes, now is the time to do it. Uh, there's no time like the present, Leggy. Let's get going! Good. Help me carry him to the roof. Okay, but I am still bleeding. Left or right? <laughs> if you're going to kill me, just do it already. <laughs> no. I want you to suffer. And I want everyone here to witness your suffering. Seems like a bit much, but okay. Legion! When we came here, this was to be a simple conquest. No more difficult than that of the Twisted Hairs. But it has taken years. Years of pain and sacrifice. Many of you were not with us when the Legion first laid claim to this land. Many of you were bleeders or snowblind. Aimless until you found the Legion. Others are from Wright Town. Victims of Blackthorn's pride. 
Many others are those who simply saw the purity of Kaisar's order. I've asked much of you these last few years. But now, with this man's death, there will be no one left for Blackthorn to hide behind. When they fall, we will be vindicated. We will be victorious. We will stand tall as Legion. That was a rousing speech. As he dies, so does the spirit of the bear. They'll consolidate what little they have left in Camp New Phoenix, preparing themselves for their last stand. It's almost over now, Courier. All that's left is to tie up loose ends. No more errands! I want the NCR to bleed! This is just as important as the battle. Besides which, I need time to gather our forces. Fine, tell me about this loose end. Dolus has served us well. Without him, you would still be our enemy. But with Hardcase's death, his usefulness has come to an end. He's a liability now. And he must be eliminated. That task falls to you. Say it ain't so, Leggy. Rancor is our ally, isn't he? Only by necessity. He's been trying to undermine me for some time, as you no doubt know. Yeah. That will no longer be tolerated. All right, where is he? My frumentari have found him hiding in an apartment building, like a coward. He shouldn't be much trouble for you. While you're gone, I'll amass our troops outside of New Phoenix. The end is near. Ave, true to Kaisar. I hope you're all as juiced as I am for this final confrontation. We're going to take Blackthorn down once and for all, and also Rancor and anybody else who gets in my way. Actually, I have something to say first. Then speak. Let your voice be heard. Ahem, crowd! Hear my words! What is it? Nothing. I just broke this thing, sorry. 